Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over why our edit screen sometimes looks a little different. If you're a part of the Facebook group or the Studio One subreddit or any of the forums, you'll very frequently see some new people coming into the world of Studio One going, my main window looks different. How do I get it back to the normal thing that we're used to seeing. And that is the track headers on the left, showing us the mute, solo, input, and record buttons, then having a little fader underneath that, and maybe some other parameters. But something happens and I don't see all of that stuff anymore. Everything looks different. Or you have the problem where your events look different. Maybe they're like this weird red greeny kind of color. Maybe they're just kind of subdued and all of the color that we're used to seeing is gone and they're kind of translucent and they're dark, but there's this weird line through them. Today, we're gonna go over what all of these things are and how to get back to the default view. So let's dive into the DAW. Okay, so here we are inside of our session and it's something I'm working on. It's some MIDI drums, a bass that I have to redo because I hated what I did, and a couple guitar tracks, and it's a work in progress. Doesn't matter right now. But this is the default view that we're all used to seeing. We see our events, they all have this nice vibrant color so we can very easily associate that track with its color and we know what we're looking at. This is what we like to see. Also, if we look at the left-hand side, we can see all of the very important information about those tracks without the track inspector being open at all. So if we go look at the drums, which is named Kick, and that's where all of the MIDI information is, is on my Kick channel, but I have this MIDI instrument spread out over many different channels in my mixer. That's a different video. We can see that here's our events. I can see all the MIDI information, all of like the pedal information, everything I'm used to seeing. And then we can see a lot of the things that we were talking about before, the mute button, the solo button, the arm for recording button, the monitoring button, a tiny little fader. And then with instrument tracks, we can see which instrument it's using, then the MIDI in and out information, if it has a physical instrument attached, so on and so forth. Then if we go down and take a look at our audio tracks, we're gonna take a look at our guitar right here, see the same things up on top, mute, solo, arm for record, little fader here, then we can see the inputs, if it's a mono or stereo track, that's what this circle is, if it's in any groups, and the event or the layer that is currently active. These are things that we're used to seeing. Oh no, I've hit something on my keyboard, or I did some action, and now things look different. A lot of the time in the Facebook group, I see this a lot. You have this display where you've lost your fader, you've lost the input and the stereo channel or mono channel indicator, what layer you're working on, and now you just see this. You see the mute and the solo button, but I can't arm for record anymore, and I can't listen to the input. Also, there's this weird power button, and it says display off. What am I looking at here? What you've done is you're now looking at your automation. To look at your automation or to show or hide your automation, it's one key on the keyboard and it's very frequently hit because maybe you're reaching for something else on the left side. And that's the A key on your keyboard. No modifiers, so no control, no commands, no Windows or PC stuff here, literally just the letter A on your keyboard, is how you can show or hide automation across all of your tracks. So if I just hit A, I instantaneously have recovered all of my tracks back to the way they look on the left-hand side. But if you want to see your automation, you can hit A, and now on all of your tracks, you're going to see your automation if you have any going on. You might see this where the display equals off, and it's just because you don't have anything selected in this menu. If I wanted to see my volume automation, I could just go down to volume, and now I'm seeing the grayed out audio wave indicators, so our events, but we see this blue line in here because it's the color of our automation lane. Volume is blue, but if we change this to green, now we have a green line. So that's all we've done is we're just looking at our automation. If you ever encounter this, just hit A on your keyboard and you'll go right back to where you were. If you don't wanna use your keyboard shortcuts or you just wanna do certain channels like I like seeing my automation on my buses that I have here. I have a drum bus and I have a mix bus. 
I can go in and I held command to select those two tracks that I'm working with right now. So I clicked on one and then I'm holding command, clicking on the other. Now for these two, instead of hitting the A key, which will do it across all of our tracks, I can just right click on either one of them. Or if you're on like a trackpad, it's a two finger click. And then you're gonna go over here to show hide automation. This will only do it on the selected tracks that you have now. So now we can see on my drum bus and my mix bus, my volume automation is visible. I can see this. If there was anything going on, which there's not right now, I would see all of this automation. This is my default view. I like seeing my bus automation. All right, so that's one of the most common things that we see for newcomers coming into Studio One and the left side looks different. You're showing or hiding your automation. Now, here's one that does come up every once in a while. And I know that originally when I started using Studio One, I suffered from a lot. If I, let's say I have this event on my guitar selected and I just hit this keyboard shortcut that I didn't mean to actually hit, it's gonna process. And then what it's gonna do is make my waveform look really weird. And I'm just gonna zoom in real quick. And what is this? Now it's green and red and grayed out on the background. Where's my vibrant colors? What's going on? What I've done is I've hit the Q key on the keyboard. And what this has done is has analyze the audio to quantize it. And we're looking at the bend markers. This is the view we're in now. We're looking at bend markers for this event. And you can see if I had multiple events selected, like I'm gonna do right now, and I'm gonna hit the Q key, it's going to analyze it and then put it into the bend marker view. To get out of this view, you can do a few different things. Because I just did this, I can just undo and it'll undo the analyzing that it just did and switching over to this mode. But maybe it happened when you stepped out of the room and somebody came in and they accidentally hit it on the keyboard. Not a big deal. What you can do is right click on any one of the selected events that look like this and go up to Ben Marker and just turn this little checkbox off. Now it will take you out of that view, although you could always turn it back on and you now have all of these bend markers. We haven't moved any of them, so our audio isn't manipulated. We can just turn the view off by going to bend marker here. One thing I should say is if you do see the bend markers on here and you want to right click and turn off the bend markers so that it doesn't look like you can see the bend markers, the quantizing that happened when you hit the letter Q may still be active. So here's a keyboard shortcut to remember. And you wanna to go to event, restore timing, or shift and Q. This will make sure that if it did apply any quantizing to the track that, that may have the Ben marker view on it, this will make sure that any quantizing that happened just gets canceled out and everything gets put back to its original position. Then you can just turn off your view for Ben marker and you're good to go. So there you go. That's a couple tips on how to get your main window back to its default state. If you've ever seen somebody in one of the Facebook groups, subreddits, or any forum having this issue, let them know about this video because there's a few different view features that we have within Studio One, and that one does come up very frequently. So bring them over and they may learn a thing or two from watching this and know for the future how to quickly turn that on or off. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For booking information, check out timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.